As the 10th anniversary of the Deepwater Horizon disaster approaches, scientists are focusing on a few unanswered questions about the environmental impact of the oil spill. In controlled experiments, we try to answer these questions. That represent the various disciplines of chemistry, physical oceanography, and ecology. Why are so many dolphins losing their young? Why are so many pregnancies failing? I think the Gulf of Mexico is certainly resilient and it has responded incredibly. But I do believe that there are things that we don't know the answer to yet. For those of us who are field biologists, this is what we live for, what we work for. There we go. Being able to see potentially new species to science, species that very few people have ever seen. The chemical techniques that we use are essentially doing forensics on the events that are associated with the oil. Science is a way of knowing. It's accumulation of solid information of data and then making sense of those data. But you always know that someone is going to test your hypothesis. However, scientists are now facing even greater challenges, especially the growing disconnect between politicians and scientific realities. It's pretty baffling to me as a scientist to see how much skepticism there is today about science. I believe the ability to measure with precision the degree of human activity's impact on the climate is subject to more debate. I asked the chair, you know what this is? It's a snowball. It's not dumbing down the situation, but uh, giving them a rep the, the people, the skeptics, a representation that they have familiarity with. And that was really perhaps our, 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 our trump card, no pun intended. Let's go! There is also much to be learned from how female scientists navigate the intimidating challenges of sexism. If you grow up and you never see a woman scientist on television or in movies or you never hear about one, it's not something that you start thinking about as a direction for you to go. Fortunately, a lot of that has changed. It doesn't mean that things are totally easy. There we go. And as new funding for research dwindles, scientists are more and more worried about the future. These are some of their stories. Intimate portraits of research, innovation, and discovery. Stories that speak directly to a nation trying to recover from the largest offshore oil spill in its history. <laughs>